Hi and welcome to Movies Suck. Well, this is just a quick addendum to my previous video, and this is about the actors from Daredevil. Because, like the rest of you, I've been missing Daredevil like crazy. That was just such a good TV series. And I found this story when I was hunting up some details about when the Defenders will return and maybe be in Marvel Phase 4, I came across this story. Daredevil star says she can't find work and worried that she won't act again. Now this is just, just sad because Daredevil was actually a really good series. All of the actors in Daredevil did a really good job. Really, really good job. And how they can suddenly not be able to find work is just unthinkable to me. They were just absolutely fantastic. Daredevil was the really good Netflix Marvel series. A lot of people will say Jessica Jones was the best. No, Jessica Jones was second best. Jessica Jones was okay. Daredevil was the really good series. So how is it that Deborah Ann Wall cannot find work? I, I really cannot fathom this. Let me just read the story for you. Netflix Daredevil features one of the finest casts you'll find in any comic book TV show. Deborah Ann Wall, for instance, delivered up a reliably outstanding performance as Karen Page across the Marvel series three seasons. She's also proven her skill in a bunch of other projects too, including her fan favourite role on True Blood and movies like Escape Room. That's why it's so disheartening to hear that the actress has been struggling to find work since Daredevil was cancelled. While speaking with Marvel's Joe Cusida on his Joe Q's Morning Warm-Up podcast, Wall opened up about her personal worries about her lack of acting jobs since Daredevil and its sister series were wiped out by Netflix across 2018 to 2019, something that's not helped by the current pandemic. Clearly emotional, Wall explained how it's been affecting her self-worth. She said, I'm just really wondering whether I'll get to work again, whether anyone wants to work with me again and whether I still have it, all of those scary things. And part of my brain goes, no, you're just being crazy, calm down. But the part of me that loves acting, and the problem with being an artist and an actor, and any of these professions where you put a piece of your soul into your work, is that it becomes a part of your identity. If I'm not acting, I'm not sure who I am. And since it's been so long since I've really gotten to do it, I'm struggling a bit now. I'm struggling a bit with how to maintain my self-worth, my sense of my own value. This is a difficult thing for people. A lot of people base their self-worth around their work. And if they're not working, they just can't find what makes them special, what makes them valuable to the world. And obviously, Deborah feels the same way. She's Without the work, she can't figure out who she is or what her value to the world is, what she should be doing. Because that's what she wants to do. And she played a fantastic Karen Page. She was so damn good. She was one of the best things in that Daredevil series. I mean, obviously, Charlie Cox was absolutely fantastic as Daredevil. Karen Page was, I mean, sorry, Deborah Ann Wall was amazing as Karen Page. She was just fantastic. She fit the bill perfectly. And then, of course, we have Eldon Henson playing Foggy, and he was fantastic as well. Every single bit of casting in that series was brilliant. The series was just fantastic. So how can those actors not be able to find work now? They were brilliant as what they were. Are they typecast forever as being those actors from Daredevil? Of course they aren't. They, they were doing pretty well with their acting before they played those characters. So why suddenly can they not find any work? Are they, have they been stigmatized by the fact that all those Marvel series got cancelled all at once? I really cannot figure out what is going on. And they don't deserve this. I mean, I want all these guys to return in these characters for, for Disney+. Plus. I, I think they should all be back. I think these series should be picked up. Whether they start off from where they were or just start again, I really don't mind. Although I really think those storylines should be carried on, with the exception of Iron Fist, which should just be completely restarted. Completely restarted. And maybe, I don't know, forget about season two of Luke Cage, because yeah, that wasn't particularly great either. And anything involving Jessica Jones' mum... Forget it, that was all bullshit and it didn't work. Jessica Jones was starting to go downhill at this point. But, yeah, bring it all back. That would be absolutely amazing. And give these people work. They are very good actors. 
it's just unfair that they should be stigmatized in this way. Or maybe I'm overreacting, I don't know. Let's read a little bit further. Ever since this interview, fans have been pouring onto social media to express their outrage and confusion as to why talents like Wall is having trouble being employed in Hollywood. What's more, a couple of her Daredevil co-stars have stepped forward to show their support as well. First, the kingpin himself, Vincent D'Onofrio, shared this touching message on Twitter in which he described Wall, amongst other things, as a gift to storytelling. He said, Deborah Ann Wall can play any part written for an actor to play. I think of her as being one of my favourite scene partners in my career because of her talent. Every actor depends on their scene partner. You'd be lucky to have her with you. She's unstoppable. A gift to storytelling. And that's Vincent D'Onofrio, who hasn't suffered since he's been on there. He's working really well, but then he was a name actor before then. And then you've got the Punisher star John Benthel then chimed in with his thoughts too, calling it a joy and honour to work with both Wall and D'Onofrio. That's right, there's the truth. Big love to both of you all. What an honour and a joy to have rolled with you guys. Fantastic. Really, really, really nice to hear these guys supporting each other in this way. And I really hope this shit gets sorted out, because I cannot understand what is going on. It's just... I don't want to say it's unfair, because this is life. Sometimes you get breaks, sometimes you don't. Maybe there's just some strange pause in their careers. Some odd reason, who can figure out why. It just does seem a little bit odd. I mean, if you look at their IMDb pages, so Deborah Ann Wall's IMDb page, so let's have a look at what she's doing recently. She's been doing Relics and Rarities, which I think is her own little series. I haven't actually looked into it very much, but I'm going to look into it ever since I saw this story. So I'm going to have a look at this. I think she's been writing it as well, which is, I think it's just a little web webisode type series. So not actually on any television networks that I'm aware of, but I will check that out. And then it's got The Punisher, a couple of shorts, Escape Room, she was good in that. And then we've got just a couple of little things. And then The Daredevil, she's had very, very little to do. But previous to this, she was in demand. She had plenty to do. But suddenly, hardly anything going on. And the Relics and Rarities thing doesn't really count as a major show or anything. And then I looked a bit further, and so Charlie Cox. Let's have a look at Charlie Cox. Let's see. Yep, he he made he showed up on Relics and Rarities to support Deborah, and he made the, a short called The Knots. And this the stripped this stripped program has been in pre-production apparently since 2017. So this film, who knows if it's ever going to happen? Probably not. So he's done almost nothing either. Previous to this, he was doing okay, but he's had very little to do. I do know that he's been on stage recently with um, Tom Hiddleston in a show. Apparently it did very well and it moved over to Broadway in America, but that's it. And he's got nothing going on film-wise. I don't know if he's got anything else going on stage-wise, but his career seems to be a halt as well now. And then if we have a look at Eldon Henson, who played Foggy, then, yeah, Daredevil. Defenders, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Daredevil, nothing since. 2018 he's just on pause why is this why is he not wanted he was doing okay before then plenty of stuff going on down here and suddenly does daredevil and he's just gone no one seems to want to work with him so you go a bit further have a look at Kristen ritter who played jessica jones the title character jessica jones she did basically jessica jones for a while she had a fair bit going on before then just suddenly starts but and then nothing she did a, she rehashed a character in Breaking Bad, and that's it. I know that she's had a child recently. I think she had a baby in May or June last year, but you'd think there'd be something lined up somewhere, unless she's really just put herself on break, but no, there's nothing. It's just a bit strange. How can this actress not be wanted for any other characters anymore? What is going on? Has she said something that was unwoke? Has she been a little bit right wing? Is it a James Wood situation? I don't know. Who knows what's going on, but this girl deserves to have more work. If she was fantastic as Karen Page, she'll be fantastic in just about anything else she does. Along with all the other guys that were in Daredevil. What the hell is going on? Hollywood really doesn't give a shit about good actors, good TV series, or anything else. Which is probably why Disney hasn't said anything about starting this stuff back up again. Or any of the Defenders series. It'd be a big shame if none of this stuff actually comes back. Really big shame, especially with these actors and actresses back as well. 
All you can do is, fingers crossed, hope for the best. But, you know, Marvel does seem to be going the way of the comic books. So, the MCU could really be the MCU. Oh, fuck woke culture. It pisses me off. Anyway, this is Movie Sucks signing out. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Look after yourselves.